Hey guys, this is episode three of our road trip. Sorry it took so long. Been running around doing a lot of stuff over the past few days. And just, just been really, really busy, so trying trying to get a couple of these episodes out a little sooner for you. <laughs> Alrighty. So we got up in the morning after a decent night's sleep. Decided to go out to Dunkin' Donuts with uh, Kelsey just to, you know, take her out to breakfast. Thank her for having us and Spaz had a gift card. Good morning! Hello. It is a nice the bed across the beautiful day uh, with the bed across the street. No, it's a beautiful day. Uh, it is Thursday at 10.24 in the morning. Uh, myself, Kelsey, and good old Spaz, we're going to head out to Dunkin' Donuts for some breakfast before making our way to Berg's, which is in Charleston, South Carolina. Shouldn't be that far a ride. How long of a ride is this supposed to be? Uh, hour and a half, I think. It's like 90 miles. Hour and a half, two hours, something like that? Okay. Cool, so, won't be too bad of a ride. But, got, uh, got one additional cosmonaut with us today. Say hi, Kelsey. Hi. Say hi, Spaz. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Say hi to his Hanes Boxers. Hi, Hanes Boxers. After we said our goodbyes, we went, hopped on the road, and um, wasn't wasn't too long before Jurassic Park came up yet again. <laughs> Hello, viewers at home. So uh, Spaz wanted us to get this particular area. But it, why is that? Because uh, it's just like the Jurassic Park Highway. Like it just it's not even like trees. It's like like vines and stuff. You know, I just I just like it. You know, it's it's just, yeah. there are vines. There's like vines and like maybe maybe George of maybe George of the Jungle's about to go and uh, jump from something somewhere. I'd, I'd prefer to see dinosaurs. Actually. Dinosaurs. How about, how about dinosaurs eating George of the Jungle? No, just, just dinosaurs. I think just dinosaurs. Uh, just dinosaurs. Huh? We um, got onto the highway, and one thing that we notice is that there's just a lot of a lot of really amazing sights in this area. Stuff that you wouldn't normally see uh, back at home. A lot of rolling hills and, and just trees and, and forests as, as far as the eye can see, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what this looks like—a ski jump or a ramp or something. I don't know. Hopefully, it's something cool. Well, it looks like we're going to go pretty high here. Oh, yeah, it's got to be a big-ass river. I'm looking on the, on the GPS here. Yes. Should be a pretty cool view once we get up there. You know, you've grown quite a relationship with this GPS. You, you should name her. Uh, GPS. Okay, check this out, man. I wonder what... Yeah, this thing doesn't say river. Like, we're like the marshes of South Carolina. It's pretty cool. At one point we passed by this really old abandoned building on the left side. Spaz found it pretty interesting. Remember like the like the great adventure like Batman stunt show? Like takes place here. Like there's a new location for it. <laughs> it's kind of weird and creepy. <laughs> well like what <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Um, all these like abandoned stores and stuff. A melt shop. A melt shop. Melt. That's <laughs> what I do. Like uh, I just send my bills in, so I melt them. <laughs> Put them in the melt box. That's, I don't know. You know, every time you, every time you think that's funny, uh, I don't. You know, hopefully, Andy and Omar watch them because they'll, they'll, they'll get. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Andy and Omar, if you like that kind of crappy joke, well, that's for you. Once we found the complex that we were looking for, right. we were a little bit nervous about finding the correct address as we had tried to break into the incorrect apartment the previous day. Okay. So we uh, we were a little nervous this time around. Great. Another adventure of guess the house. Yeah. 
Hopefully this one's a little bit easier to Hopefully I'll figure out. Accidentally almost break into anybody's house this time. Again. Again. Okay. Is it a gate? There's a Trying. Do you have the address in it? Um, it's on the paper. Two two three five. Two two three five. So, change, change the part? No. Okay. Change the barrier. You think this is it? I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, he sent me this. Oh, 5B. 5B. E. Which one's five? Or B. Okay, here uh, we go again. Bang! Damn! Jesus. Uh, All right. Uh, I mean, bless you. Yeah. Okay, so I hadn't gotten out of the car yet when Spaz told me to get back in. Buildings one through three, four through eleven. So that's what you're going to? Okay. Yeah, the only interesting part about all this is that there's no labels. Building. That's building four. Building four. So five. Interesting. It's, I know, I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Shut up. Is this five? Does it say five? Did you see a five on it? Nope. Short sure, didn't. Let's go check for five. Five. I see it up there. This is five? Yes. Where do you see it? Oh. Yeah. Five up there. Hopefully this is actual five and not pretend five like last time. Five B? You said five B? Yeah. Right before we go to go inside, Spaz looks up by the light and finds a new friend. There's another lizard. We get inside, we drop off our stuff. Um, Bergs, who is uh, Spaz's friend that we were meeting up here, no. who, who was having us. Uh, are you in the shower? Um, I'm going to uh, brush my teeth. He, uh, he comes back to his apartment shortly thereafter. We decide we're going to go out what? for a walk. Right as we're about to walk outside, this guy decides that he wanted to get into our apartment and just strolled right in. So dog just ran in. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hi, dog. Get out of his way. <laughs> no sun. Shoot. See you later. <laughs> what? No. Has that ever happened before? No. <laughs> so, we uh, we open the front door and dog just runs in, like he was waiting to come inside. I don't know, Spez. Maybe he got the wrong apartment too, or something. Well, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Try this again. Huh? No. Try no, this like again. Hydrogen is good. Magic door. And this dog goes in again. God. Okay. So we uh, we get back to the apartment. We decide to go to a local sushi restaurant. And um, on our way out the door, we uh, walk by this pond that's that's only like 100 yards away from Berg's apartment. And as we're passing by the pond, uh, we see this. Keep your eye on the water because the fish jump.
There's this big fish here. Yeah. Check out my Facebook. What is this? Oh, that's right. This is a place you said you swim, or uh, swim, uh, that you fish, right? Yeah. Oh! Hey, I told you. Wow! They jump. Look! <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Did I tell you or what? Wow, Berg, you want to finish. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I yeah. told you it was funny. You can narrate the jumping fish. Yeah. Like National <laughs> Geographic. <laughs> this is the jumping fish. <laughs> That's all I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> they jump and they're white. Good day. My name's Steve Irwin. Today, we're going to take a look at the South Carolina Mexican jumping fish. <laughs> so we get to the sushi restaurant and there's just so many different types of sushi. It's, it, was, it was really tough to choose. I mean, I'm no sushi expert. Spaz is. He eats sushi all the time, and I guess uh, Berg's also does. But I, I was having a tough time deciding. <laughs> we got plum wine here. We got Berg's here. And fish. Who can't decide on fish? We place our orders, and the plate of sushi that came out was just. Uh, this is eel. This is mine. This is mine. I'm putting it on your order. How is that yours? Because the white tuna on top. No, because we both got the triple tuna. So no, 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 no. That's that's triple tuna. What I'm saying, this one specifically is mine. The white one with the white sauce. Okay. This is mine. What is that one? Presidential. I'm trying a piece, whether you like it or not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the presidential. These were both the same thing. Okay. So one of those is yours. One of those is mine. I got this. This is eel. This is salmon skin. So that's two of mine. Who got this one? Um, um, <laughs> this <laughs> What was the other one you got? I don't know. I forget. You got the salmon skin. The tuna was me. Yeah, and the other one I don't remember. And fish doesn't remember any of this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have no idea. We managed to finish everything. Um, we go back to the apartment. And uh, Spez has a video conference with his dad, which is pretty cool. He, he's, he's got a webcam and he can use it to, to just have like video chats with his, his parents. So he uh, talked to his dad for, for the second time and that was, that was pretty cool. We wanted to show you, uh, we're trying a, the Charleston beer that they have from, um, it's like from the area. Yeah. Look, Paul Palmetto. Palmetto. What kind of a beer is it? Uh, we got the, um, it's an amber, palmetto amber. So we'll try it here for you. Was that the devil's glass? Yeah, Berg says the devil's glass. Okay. Oh, is it the glass of the devil? Oh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's like a little, it's got a little hop to it, but it's kind of sweet too, but it's, it's pretty good. We had one before. Cheers, Dad. Okay. So we're a few drinks in at this point, and... <laughs> Berg said earlier told us that there were actually alligators or an alligator in the pond that was nearby, the one with the jumping fish. And we uh, decided it would be a good idea to go gator hunting. <laughs> 